A small charter flight headed to Winnipeg was forced to make an emergency landing last night. Both engines cut out mid-trip. The Manitobans on board credit the quick and calm thinking of the pilot for ensuring everyone was safe. CBC's Brittany Greenslade reports. The rural dirt road outside St. Andrews became a makeshift runway Thursday night as a small six-passenger plane was forced to make an emergency landing. We had to go over that intersection while on the ground. Steve Allard and five of his co-workers were on board the plane, which had left Sachigo Lake, Ontario, two hours before. He says about 20 minutes before they were set to land, the first engine stopped. When the first engine went out, you could actually feel the plane um, on the left hand. The left engine went out first, and it was pulling the wing back. Allard says everyone, including the pilot, remained calm as the plane started to approach Selkirk. But then the second engine went. That's when the pilot turned around and very calmly said, make sure everybody has their seatbelts on and brace for impact. As the plane drifted, the pilot guided it under power lines and onto a narrow gravel strip surrounded by snowy fields. It felt like probably only about 20 seconds and we were on the ground. Byron Cassie, who was also on board, says the pilot had just two options, the road or an adjacent field. Looking at the field, it was very rough, uh, probably frozen, so I imagine it would have damaged the plane and possibly caused a much worse outcome. Well, the airline did not respond to requests by CBC, RCMP say it appears the plane ran out of fuel. The Transportation Safety Board is assessing the incident, but the passengers credit the pilot for his quick thinking. He, he made a plan and stuck to it, and that's the only reason that we all made it to the ground, because if he had changed his mind at any point, we would have been in a lot of trouble. The plane refueled and was flown to a nearby airport. Passengers were driven to Winnipeg, knowing their night could have ended very differently. What could have been a bad situation was just an interesting life story. Brittany Greenslade, CBC News, Winnipeg.